Honorable Justice Thakur, President Sir, Senior Members of the Bar, my colleagues of the Executive Committee, dear members. Uh, I must say that this, is a, this has been the dream of this Executive Committee led by our President Sir. We have got many brickbats from the beginning of the Executive Committee and he has been pursuing us thoroughly. In fact, the two of my colleagues, Amit Anand Tiwari and Devashish Bharuka are the ones who have been powering this project and who have been done extensively working on this project with the, some of our vendors who are here. So, uh, and we are, of course, grateful that Justice Thakur, he always agrees. We requested him and Justice Thakur said, I would be happy to be part of this project and uh, he's here with us. We welcome you, sir. And uh, I request... Uh, uh, I request our treasurer, uh, Rajesh Pathakji, Pathak to please welcome Justice Thakur with a bouquet of flowers. May I uh, request President Sir to please welcome Honorable Justice Thakur and say a few things about the dream, his dream project. Good evening, uh, my Lord Justice Thakur. Good evening, friends. <clears throat> It's uh, been a great uh, dream of mine to do something uh, for the bar. And one of the reasons why I thought of the e-library is because of the surrounding that you have today in which you are sitting. You pick up any book from this and you will find that many of the pages are missing, many of the books are torn, and many of the books are missing from the journals. So. This really, and in times today when we have to be environment friendly every day, to have as many journals as possible, and particularly now that we have almost uh, about 2,000 active members uh, of the bar who uh, visit the Supreme Court virtually on a weekly basis, it would be very difficult for any bar association to provide more and more you know, numbers of journals to the members of the bar for their usage. It's also equally difficult, as you all see, that to carry these books into the courtrooms and to bring them back. Uh, all these librarians have been doing a great job about it, but it's not an easy task. E-library was therefore one of the earliest things which had struck my mind, and uh, my committee, I must say, has been extremely gracious and extremely cooperative in uh, accepting my suggestions, sometimes little weird ones, and uh, they have been uh, uh, all through with me. I am personally, I must confess, particularly to my Lord Justice Thakur, I am personally computer illiterate. I have never opened uh, any computer in my life, either to see a judgment or to even see an email. The only usage I have of email is on my Blackberry, and that's it, nothing else. And uh, I am old-fashioned. But today's young generation of lawyers are extremely savvy, and uh, they really use... Uh, uh, the uh, electronic uh, library in an extensive way. They do tremendous research on Google, they do tremendous research on Internet, and uh, they are very, very familiar with the functioning of this kind of a library. So that's how we had uh, conceived it. I must say that uh, uh, this uh, project, which is going to be of immense help uh, for a long time to the members of the bar, could not have been possible without the help of um, some of my senior colleagues at the bar. I must tell you, Justice Thakur, that in, I stood outside uh, you know, courtroom number four one day, and in half an hour I was able to persuade my colleagues to, and I could raise about 75 lakhs of rupees. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing how much uh, support the senior members of the bar give because, uh, and uh, they all uh, uh, did not even question once uh, as to what is the amount that I want them to give or uh, what is it going to be utilized for. So it's because of the support that the bar gives us that my committee and I are able to do this work, uh, which uh, we do believe and we hope and trust will be extremely useful to the members of the bar. I must also place on record my deep sense of uh, gratitude and acknowledgement of the outstanding work that uh, two of my young colleagues in the uh, executive committee have done, and that is Devashish Baruka and Amit Anand Tiwari. They, they really deserve tremendous, uh, tremendous help, uh, I mean, they, uh, 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 this thing, support from us, and also acknowledgement. 
they are the ones who really have been talking to all the vendors and all those uh, other people who are involved in this project. Every one of them are present here, whether from SCC online, whether from Manupatra and many other journals. They have been extremely kind also to the Supreme Court Bar Association in having agreed to provide us not only the services, but most of them, sir, for your information, have agreed to give us discount as high as 85%. And this is amazing. So I express my deep sense of gratitude to my friends uh, here who have really been, because ultimately everybody realizes, and this is what uh, I have been telling and talking to friends all over, that uh, Supreme Court really uh, you know, enjoys a position of great uh, primacy in a democracy. And unless Supreme Court is strengthened in every possible way, uh, it is very difficult for democracy. We need a strong Supreme Court. But a strong Supreme Court needs a strong bar, and strong bar would certainly need a strong library and other, uh, you know, equipment. Intellectual development of the bar is something which is extremely important, and I am one of those who believes that uh, the constant intellectual dialogue, constant intellectual engagement amongst the members of the bar, and also between the bar and the bench outside the court hours, is something which is of immense help to uh, lawyers at any stage because we are all learners at every stage of our life and particularly to this you know, young generation of lawyers who are really outstanding, who have great vision, who have great uh, you know, minds and uh, I'm sure that uh, this kind of dialogue will help us in many ways. So I must express my gratitude uh, to all these uh, friends who have supported us for this project and uh, I will uh, of course uh, request uh, Devashish and Amit to explain to you what the project is about before we request uh, my Lord Justice Thakur to launch and dedicate the library to the members of the bar. But I, so, I should also, I would be seriously failing in my uh, duty to mention that one of the best things that I have received from uh, uh, as the President of the Supreme Court Bar Association in last about uh, five months is the absolute warmth from the members of the bar. And it is amazing, this uh, presence of the members of the bar at 4.15 in the afternoon itself speaks about the kind of affection uh, that has been showered on me and my committee. And it is because of the support of the members of the bar that we get encouraged, we get enthused, and we really try and work as much as uh, possible. And uh, I must uh, thank all of you for being here, for supporting us. And lastly, I must also say that uh, while this project uh, has been worked sincerely by, by Devashish and Amit, uh, Aishwarya Bhati, the indomitable secretary of the association, also has contributed immensely because a lot of my, lot of my work as uh, president, uh, if, even for this project, she had taken over, uh, I think mostly perhaps on her own uh, doing. I did not uh, uh, volunteer to give up those powers, but she did it, and she has been of immense help. So I must uh, say that it's been a great journey, and I'm sure we will be able to, with passage of time, this is, this is going to be big at the beginning on experimental basis. We might need some help uh, from uh, my Lord Justice Thakur and Lordships that uh, this system's success depends on the uh, functioning of the, uh, of the Wi-Fi system. And the Wi-Fi system has been now instituted uh, uh, by the registry. But uh, the cost of running the Wi-Fi system for the members of the bar is uh, something which, on which uh, we would request uh, uh, Lord Chief, since uh, Lord Chief also look into some of the committees, that uh, if that is worked out, I would say that it would be perhaps uh, good for the institution that the Supreme Court at least provides free Wi-Fi facilities to the members of the bar so that the facility of the e-library can work to the satisfaction and every lawyer, irrespective of his standing and seniority, can truly avail the benefit of this facility. So that appeal, I, on behalf of my colleagues in the bar and on myself, I extend to you, my Lord. <coughs> so then uh, let us see how it goes. We will be constantly updating. You are welcome to give the suggestions and uh, run after Devashish and Amit if there are any, any flaws in this system and if they don't work well or if they need to be updated. And uh, don't hesitate to tell us where we are right and certainly where we are wrong. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, President, sir. Let me take the liberty of informing you that you, uh, you may be computer illiterate, but it's often said that books and research material is like weapons for lawyers. 
and these uh, e-research tools are like ballistic missiles and best of the nuclear technology for young lawyers. May I now invite uh, my colleague Devashish Bharuka to please uh, present a PowerPoint presentation on the features of the e-library. Good evening all. E-library is something which provides us which any library offline cannot provide us. The wider the span of research facilities we have, the more knowledge we have, the more possible approach towards different kind of materials we have, the better we are prepared for our matters. As it is, and it is the intellectual capacity which ultimately takes us forward over here in the court halls. E-library, what we are offering today is something for the first time we have in the country in any of the courts. And as we move forward to the next slide, the importance of e-resources in any law library. Today, any of the law schools, rather, the beginning where the education starts for any law student, most of the law schools today in the country and abroad do offer e-libraries within their campus. And as we can see, the importance of this e-library, the accessibility of this information we can have from any of the SCBA libraries. In the next slide, I'll be showing the span where all this information will be available across the Supreme Court campus and in the chambers. The easily researchable tools we have today, on even on words, on research, search index, etc., which otherwise might be difficult when we start looking into these books. On a wider span, it's much easier to research. The speed at which we can have judgments and uh, legal journals be available to us. The links where we have connectivity between judgments, between laws, acts, provisions, and instantly taking us to the relevant uh, material we require. And another last thing which we are looking forward is also, the, there has been a serious concern over here about the books and we had been photocopying from the books. So we propose through the system and we have high speed printers which are coming up so that we can have all the prints done through either SCC True Online or through Manupatra True Prints rather than having printouts from the uh, photocopies from the books and that way we can save the books as well. This is the span we are looking out for. It will be all through in library number one, library number two, the ladies' bar room, RKG library, and then in the chambers across the street, in the Sitalwad chamber block, where the arbitration room is there, the library number four, and then the Daftri conference room. All these places, as you progress, today we have at the first stage the uh, PC set up over here in this library and library number two. We also have it in the e-research center. We also already have it in the library number four in the Sitalwad block. In the second phase, we are hoping that we'll be able to build it up, and that second phase would be coming up right during the summer vacations. We'll have more of these computers set up, and all these computers would have identical facilities, which I'll be showing you in the next uh, slide. No, sorry, can you just go back to the A few of the, uh, what President Sir just indicated, a few of the uh, softwares which we are already setting up on these systems, and the one is the SCC Online which provides for judgments from Privy Council, Federal Court, Supreme Court judgments, judgments of all the high courts, tribunals, commissions, the constituent assembly debates, and these are all searchable indexed data which is available at the tips of our hand. Law Commission of India reports the legal articles which is regularly published by the SEC, bilateral treaties, and selected foreign court judgments. What recently SCC has also added onto this database is the Hein Online, which is quite a celebrated online le uh, legal research tool, which contains more than around 145.